So the question is, how do you automate emails when updating tasks? That is, how do you send an email to a contact even if you're not creating a time entry or task note? And so we can do that with workflow rules. There's a couple of gotchas and we're gonna go through it. So the way you would get to that is admin and then workflow rules. Now to speed things along, what I've done is I've already started creating the rule. But when you went to workflow rules, you would just click on projects and the new um, workflow rule. So notice I named it with something that's obvious and clear. For the entity, don't choose project, instead choose task. And then you wanna click on edit it. A key thing to notice here is, so we're gonna kick out an email whenever the status of the task is set to complete. This is a very bad condition. This is gonna trigger all the time whenever the task gets edited. Um, let's say you have some other automation that's updating you know, time estimates or pretty much anything on this task. It could cause a lot of emails to go to the customer. So we don't wanna do that. We wanna say change to. That way this workflow rule is only triggered in that transition, right? And so the next thing we wanna do is look at the notifications. Notice there's nothing to do here because we're not actually updating the task, we're simply sending a notification. Now, a little side note, you can actually use a UDF here to be smart about it. Let's say you only wanna send a notification of a certain type once, you can create a UDF called is notification ABC sent. And then if this was not equal to true, it would send and then it would update that to true. And that would lock the task so you never got that notification again. So just an idea. Now let's click on notification. This is where we're gonna have a couple of difficult areas, right? So contract notification contact, not usually the best choice. So unlike with the ticket workflow rules, you really cannot select a contact off of the task, which is a real buzz kill, right? That's usually what we wanna do. You would think you could click contacts, but in fact, this requires that this workflow rule be set to a very specific customer, which is not what you want. And so um, what we would do here is we would just send it to contract notification. Even projects has more options than this, and hopefully they do improve that. The next thing we wanna do is choose where's the email coming from. And unlike with projects where it could come back and it's gonna bite us because it's gonna create a new ticket, if you have your email processor set to update both tickets and tasks, choosing the support email address is likely what you wanna do because it should kick that task back into an open status assuming you've done it correctly. Now notice this notification template, I'm just using the defaults here. You most likely will want to create a notification template called task-notify-customer-of-close or something like that. And then finally, I always advise if you're sending out emails from workflow rules, have the email tagged or added to the project ticket or task. It's just a good way of keeping track of what's being sent to your customers and more importantly, when it has been sent. So if you click save, save and close, this will now trigger every time you set a ticket, the status to complete it. I hope you find this helpful.